All right, welcome to our daily community meditation. So one of the concepts we've talked about lately is just being more aware that God is with us. He's with you. We talked about the phrase in the Bible, be strong, do the work because I'm with you. Be strong, do the work because I am with you. And I've been thinking about this verse in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. God says, when you turn, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. You hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. We've been talking about resetting our positioning this month. Part of that is just staying on the right path. Paying attention to God's leading so that we're in the right place at the right time. This is the way, walk in it here. So we're going to take communion over this today. This is a time of gratitude for God's leading in our life and that we would, God would lead us in this way. Let's get started with the daily prayer and then we'll get into our time of communion. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed, also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, I keep asking that you would help us to know you more and more. To know Jesus, all that he did for us, all that he made available for us. To know the Holy Spirit and be sensitive to his leading. I ask you to bless us. To expand our borders and our territory. To expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us, that we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing here. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hands and heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're so grateful that you are with us, that you lead us in the path that we are to take. And Father, we're just asking for you to help us to walk in this promise. That we would hear your voice leading us from behind us saying, this is the way, walk in it. Help us to walk in that way, Lord. And we think of the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. I just thank you that we get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. Let's go and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. We just thinking that we can have this covenant relationship with you. It's going to take our juice. <clears throat> right, let's talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So what are you going to do on those days? You got a full schedule. Maybe you don't have time for a full workout. You don't have time to do your normal workout. What are you going to do? A good practice is to break your workout up into smaller pieces throughout the day. Do five minutes here, another five minutes here, another five minutes later. Break it up into smaller pieces throughout the day. But keep remembering, God is with you, he loves you, and nothing's impossible for him. <clears throat>